What up, it's your boy, The Truth 31. Hit like, subscribe, all that fucking good stuff. And man, it is a great time to be a DC fan, isn't it? Woo! I, I woke up fucking this morning happy, cheering, watching that Snyder Cut for the millionth time, singing hallelujah, got the Holy Spirit in me, or maybe it's, a, or maybe it's just the fucking Zack Snyder spirit in me. Woo, man. That Black Adam, woo, Wonder Woman, woo. Oof, that Snyder Cut trailer, that Batman trailer. Oof. Oh, man. Oh, oh. I, I think I'm going to orgasm here right now. <laughs> it's like, because it just feels so good. It just nice and warm. It, it, it just gave me that nice, warm, fuzzy feeling watching these DC trailers. All of them amazing. And I feel bad for all the Marvel fanboys crying. <laughs> oh, I feel bad for them. Don't, don't you? Oh, I just... I feel bad for them because they have nothing to work with. They have what? The Eternals? Okay. Captain Marvel 2? Don't make me laugh. Uh, Shang-Chi? I'd rather watch Mortal Kombat. Uh, what else they got? They don't got anything. They don't got anything. You might as well get, You might as well fucking call Chris Evans, call Robert Downey Jr., call Chris Hemsworth because he's not happy because now you're going to turn Thor into a woman, which, yeah, good luck with that. Uh, oh, it sucks for them. <laughs> it sucks for them. But oh, Saturday night was the best time I've ever had in my life. Woo! Watching DC fandom, watching all the DC fans cheering, crying, being hyped, watching that Zack Snyder trailer. Oh, my God. Like watching that Zack Snyder trailer. I did a video on that. So make sure you watch that. Click on that. Smash that like button. But man, that trailer was like watching. Uh, it, it was like. A, a religious experience just watching that trailer it was amazing oh and the black adam uh, love the rock when he introduced the jsa the fact that you're gonna introduce dr fate are you fucking kidding me bro are you kidding me oh my god you get the adam smasher cyclone and hawk man Ooh, not ryan reynolds Oh, man, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. And, and that Wonder Woman 84 trailer, look, look, I'm already hyped for that movie, so I don't, I don't even need to see any more footage of that. But the Cheetah, she looked pretty good. Gotta admit, I was worried. I was just like, uh, how is this going to look? Is this going to look cheesy? But to my surprise, it looked pretty good. I was just like, okay, well done, Patty Jenkins. I like what you're doing. Uh, uh, the Suicide Squad looks interesting. King Shark. I'm sure he's going to, he, he looks adorable, King Shark. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> I was like, I'm looking at King Shark. I was like, that's King Shark? Okay, so yeah, I see James Gunn is taking the baby Groot approach and making King Shark cute and cuddly. Cuddly, cuddly, cuddly. <laughs> Tongue tied. Watching that fucking Zack Snyder trailer got my mind melted. But yeah, it seems like King Shark is going to be, I think he's going to be like a fan favorite. And of course, Harley Quinn, I love the outfit. Reminds me of the rock steady Harley Quinn, which is a big plus. So thank you, James Gunn, on doing that. And yeah, it, it looks like a hard R, balls to the wall, science fiction film. And my dog agrees. He's, I'm excited for that. And of course, of course, oh, that Zack Snyder cut. Oh, amazing, brilliant. It's, it was one of the best trailers I've ever seen in my entire life. And that and fucking the Batman. I mean, what can I say? What can I say about the Batman? Robert Pattinson, our bats. No more Twilight shit. Those jokes are gone. It's deaded, like Umberto Gonzalez would say. <laughs> it's deaded. Oh, but that Batman trailer is amazing. The, the aesthetic, the look, the tone. Robert Pattinson looks like he's gonna fucking deliver the most brutal, raw, unhinged. Bruce Wayne that we've probably ever seen on screen. It looks phenomenal. Matt Reeves, the director of The Planet of the Apes. If you haven't seen that movie, go watch it. It's phenomenal. Uh, I can't wait. But overall, DC fandom was a massive, massive success. I hope this puts the death nail for Warner Brothers to ever attend a Comic-Con ever again. Because that, no, because they shouldn't. This event, I, I mean, who wants to watch Comic-Con? Who wants to watch Comic Con? No, I want to watch DC. The whole point of what the whole point we watched Comic Con in the first place was to watch the Marvel panels and the DC panels. That's it. That's it. Now I have no interest in Comic Con because I got DC fandom right here. I got DC fandom. So this should be the new standard. This changed everything, as the Joker Heath Ledger would say. You've changed things forever. And the fact that this like trended like crazy for the most part 
it 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 ran so smoothly. Besides the leaks, like who like who who the fuck was leaking all this information anyway? Probably fucking Jeff Johns with his punk ass. But yeah, this is the gold standard now. I want this to be like this DC fandom forever. Like that's it. Like I, I like next year, next year, August twenty second. I, I I'm fucking. I want to see obviously. Hopefully with the fucking world ending. Hopefully things will get back on track and we get to see more of fucking Robert Pattinson Batman, more footage of that Black Adam, uh, fucking uh, whatever they have planned. I want to see more of it. This should be the gold standard. Hopefully more of the Flash with Michael Keaton's Batman. Oh my God, ugh, uh, like I like I'm already looking to the future. Like like hopefully Warner Brothers, HBO Max, Warner Media, hopefully AT and T, which I'm sure they are. But this, I'm sure, I'm sure they already got things planned out. I was like, look, Comic Con is dead. No more of that shit. We got DC fandom. We're gonna put an even more emphasis on, on on what what worked and what didn't, and really focus on this and give the fans who are fucking just happy that this even existed, and this is gonna be the step forward now. This this, uh, hopefully the, 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 the hopefully the when they, things are, uh, I can't even talk right now. I'm fucking excited. But hopefully next year they got panels for the Flash, uh, Black Adam, the Batman, all that good shit. And this, this is the new Comic Con. DC fandom killed it. R.I.P. Marvel. <laughs> R.I.P. Marvel. You're done. You're deaded. Good luck with Captain Marvel too, because no one's gonna see that trash. Now we got the original Captain Marvel, Shazam, Shazam, Fury of the Gods. Forgot to mention that, but that looks that that's gonna be incredible. But yeah, DC fandom overall, home run. Ugh, ugh. If DC fandom were a woman, I would have sex with it right now. <laughs> Amazing success. Truth out.